billionaire Watch Elon this Musk's video. startup company, I'll explain Neuralink, in a minute. just implanted its first brain chip into a human patient. Neuralink says this implant would give people the ability to control external devices, such as a keyboard or a phone, by using only their thoughts, which means, depending on how this trial goes, we could see an important milestone in improving the lives of those who have lost the ability to use their limbs, for example. Elon Musk announced last month that the first successful Neuralink implant was placed into a human. Now that patient has been reportedly controlling a computer with this implant. My name is Dr. Betsy Grunch and I am a board certified neurosurgeon. And let me explain to you how this device may work. The device is implanted into the motor cortex of the brain or the part of our brain that controls movement. Here's what the device looks like. And the small filaments are implanted into that motor cortex of the brain like this. And you see that there are so many tiny little fibers that are then implanted into the motor cortex. A neurosurgeon would implant the device, but a neurosurgical robot would actually implant those small little filaments into the motor cortex. Our brain has electrical signals that fire anytime we wanna move a part of our body. So in patients with quadriplegia or spinal cord injury that can no longer move their limbs, their brain can still fire, but the communication to their arm or to their leg no longer works. So the Neuralink implant will detect that that person wants to move their hand and then they can then control a computer. If I think with my brain that I wanna take my hand, put it on a computer mouse and right click or left click the mouse, the Neuralink device can then relay that signal to a computer and the person can control a computer with their brain, or potentially even a robot that then can provide movement. The first stages of the Neuralink device is to take people like quadriplegics who can't move their arms or legs, implant the device, and get them to control a computer with their mind by using their motor cortex of their brain. Now remember, this device is only implanted into the motor cortex, so it's only controlling movement. In other words, it's not controlling their thoughts or anything like that. Not only is this exciting because I take care of patients with spinal cord injury, but my mom is also a C4 quadriplegic. She's been that way for 25 years and one of her pride and joys of life is her ability to use a computer. Currently she uses a computer that has an eye on the end of her glasses and she can point at different objects with her head and use a mouse click by holding that. So the ability or thought of her being able to control a computer with her mind actually really fascinating and can make a vast improvement in her quality of life. While I still have some reservations and remain skeptical, I'm really excited about how this may change the future treatments for patients like this.